हेलो टू ऑल माय स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज प्रवीण सर्स प्रेपिन आई सी एस सी आई होप योर प्रिपेरेशन फॉर क्लास टेन इज गोइंग ऑन इन फुल स्विंग टूडे इज वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस सर्कुलर पब्लिश्ड बाई द काउंसिल ऑन इट्स वेबसाइट ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ मे 2022 according to this circular you need not study the entire syllabus your syllabus has been revised in today's video we are going to concentrate on the subject physics some part from almost all the chapters of your physics textbook has been deleted has been omitted has been removed in this video i am going to talk about that omitted part i will give you page by page summary of this omitted part so you are guided properly about the preparation which you have to do for your board examination 2023 so let's not waste our time and get set go now you can see on your screen i have a pdf of a textbook published by selina publication for the year 2023 you might have a textbook of a older version let us say textbook published for year 2022 if you compare the latest textbook with the previous year's textbook you will see that everything is same except for the cover page so whatever i am saying that is applicable for the latest edition of your physics textbook as well as the previous edition you can see on your screen the index page of your physics textbook your entire physics syllabus is divided into 6 units and 12 chapters except for two chapters that is chapter number 2 work energy and power and chapter number 11 that is calorimetry in which there is no deduction at all and in remaining 10 chapters there is either a minor omission or a major deduction so in this video we are going to talk about the revised syllabus and the change in the syllabus so that we don't waste our time in studying unwanted thing coming to chapter number 1 you can see that this chapter is divided into two units unit 1 and unit 2 as per a revised syllabus there is no change in unit number 1 but unit number 2 is totally omitted page number 1 to 14 remains as it is no change but page 15 to 18 is omitted on page number 15 you will see 1.7 uniform circular motion that part is omitted also 1.8 centripetal force and centrifugal force is also omitted along with the entire exercise 1c chapter number 2 work energy and power no deduction as per the revised syllabus entire chapter as it is will be there and please note that ki derivations of this chapters are included i'll give you an example a derivation of formula of kinetic energy is equal to half mv square you have to learn it also potential energy plus kinetic energy is equal to constant this derivation is also very very important in this chapter let's move on to next chapter chapter 3 machine if you look at the scope of syllabus you will see that entire lever part is omitted but hang on if you see page number 51 there is a derivation or a proof for load into load arm is equal to effort into effort arm this part is retained this part is included for your internal assessment and practical work if you want 
I'll make a separate video for internal assessment of practical work and journal writing which includes 20 marks. If you want, I'll make a separate video. Please post your comment in the comment box. If I receive a sizable number of comments, I'll surely make a video on this and help you to score this 20 marks, which is internal assessment of your practical work and your journal writing. So entire lever part is omitted from page number 51 to page number 60, except you have to study some part from these omitted pages and that that is page number 55 example 1 page number 57 question number 1 to question number 15 and page number 58 multiple choice type question number 1 2 and 3 chapter 3 machines the remaining part related to police the entire syllabus is included in your syllabus so you have to learn it properly Moving on to chapter number 4 that is refraction of light at the plane surface. There is a minor change in this chapter. If you go to page number 77, you will see that the diagrammatic representation of multiple images formed when a thick glass plane is used or a thick mirror is used. So this diagram is out of syllabus now. You only have to learn ki out of the multiple images formed which is the brightest one and what is the reason for the same. Moving on to page number 80, you will see question number 10, part A and part B. Yes, only part A and part B is omitted from question number 10 on page number 80. And on page number 81, derivation I1 plus I2 is equal to A plus delta. This derivation or proof of this derivation is included for your internal assessment and practical work. Please take note of this also. Chapter 5, Refraction of Light Through Lens. If you see page number 122, 123 and 124, you will see a formula 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon V minus 1 upon U. This formula is written, is there in your syllabus. Also numericals related to it. So you have to learn the formula and practice the numerical problems related to this formula. But derivation of this formula is not included. Now on page 128, you see one formula for magnification of a lens. That formula is M is equal to 1 plus D by F. This formula is not included in a syllabus. Neither a formula nor numericals related to it. So ignore this formula. Don't waste your time in learning all this unwanted part. And on page number 129 and 130, you will find various experiments to find out the focal length of a given lens, there are different experiments. They are included for your internal assessment of practical works only. Moving on to chapter number 6 that is spectrum. First two parts are included in the syllabus but the third part that is scattering of light and its application is totally omitted. So, if you see page number 145, 146 and 147, part 6C is entirely omitted. Have a look at chapter number 7, sound. The deleted parts are very confusing. So, please pay a careful attention. You will see that this chapter is divided into three units. Unit number one and unit number two is completely included in the syllabus. Unit three is partially reduced. You will see that characteristics of a sound that is loudness, pitch and quality is retained and factors affecting this characteristics. Rest all parts are omitted. Have a careful look at page number 148 and 149. 
ऑल्सो पेज नंबर वन सिक्सटी सिक्स पेज नंबर वन सिक्सटी सेवन एंड पेज नंबर वन सिक्सटी नाइन एट सम प्लेसेज एंटायर पेज इज डिलीटेड एंड इन सम अदर प्लेसेज सम पार्ट फ्रॉम दैट पेज इज डिलीटेड सो प्लीज मार्क द डिलीटेड पेजेस केयरफुली इफ यू कम टू पेज नंबर वन सेवेंटी वन Except for this table of characteristics and factors of the sound, rest everything is omitted from this chapter seven sound. Next chapter, chapter number eight. There is a minor change in this chapter. Page number one ninety one, one ninety two, and one ninety three. There is a derivation for the resistances connected in a parallel combination. and in series combination only deleted part is the derivation of this formula so just remember the formula and numericals related to those formula you have to practice and derivation is not included in the syllabus if you come to page number 201 in a same chapter you will see that question number 13 there are nine resistances which are connected here in a circuit as per a revised syllabus questions related to not more than four resistances will be asked in the examination i repeat maximum number of resistances in a combination should be four anything more than four resistances will not be included in the syllabus also question number 16 17 and 19 on page number 202 has more than four resistances which is out of syllabus now but i will highly recommend that practice these three questions for your own benefit that is recommendation from my side aage aapki marzi wo aapke syllabus mein to nahi hai chapter 9 household circuits if you see page number 213 entirely omitted and initial part of page number 214 is also omitted if you come to the page number 216 you will see that diagrammatic representation for ring system of wiring is not included in your syllabus but this part is included for your internal assessment for practical work please note that coming to page number 223 224 you will see that dual switch or two way switch and a staircase wiring this part is also totally omitted and from page number 226 the concept of high tension wires is also not included in your syllabus this was all about chapter number 9 household circuits there is a major deduction in chapter number 10 which is electromagnetism from this chapter the concept of dc motor and ac generator is omitted but it is omitted partially hence confusing you will see that principle on which this motor and generator works that is retained which is fleming's left hand rule and fleming's right hand rule it is included in your syllabus also comparison between the alternating current and direct current is also included so it is very confusing in this chapter to understand which part is there and which part is omitted so what i will do is i'll scroll through these pages and you can see which are the parts which are omitted because you see that some pages are completely omitted and on some pages some part is omitted and other part is retained so just go through this page and in your textbook please mark the parts which are omitted so that you don't waste your time in learning unwanted things also look at the question answers on page number 257 258 259 and 260 questions which are omitted from your syllabus no need to prepare 
for these questions moving on to next chapter that is chapter number 11 most of the students find this chapter difficult and this chapter calorimetry there is no deduction you have to learn the entire chapter finally last chapter chapter number 12 radioactivity this chapter is divided into two units but second unit of nuclear fission and nuclear fusion is completely deleted. No need to learn from the pages 301 to 306. This was the last chapter. If you want the downloadable link of this PDF which I have used in a description box, please write the comment in the comment box. Your demand for this PDF will be command for me. Let me know if you want this PDF in the comment box below. Now that you know your revised syllabus and you know what to study and what not to study, your preparation will get an additional wings and you will come out of your examination with flying colors. For your examination, best of luck.